Prince William is still leaking against Prince Harry. He has never ever stopped. And now William is leaking details about Harry's private message to him. After Kay Moulton had announced that she allegedly had been diagnosed with cancer. Remember, it was reported that Prince Harry Meghan had reached out privately to Kate and William. And now William is spilling the beans, the tea, on what Harry said to him. And my family, I expected William to leak everything as he always does. I expected William to breathe the Madoc on press because that is what he's always been doing for years now. Leaking and briefing anti Harry and Meghan stories to the UK public press to paint Harry and especially Meghan in a very negative light and to prop himself up to get good press for himself. That's what William has been doing. And my family, and that's why I keep on saying this, that anyone who is hoping for or even talking about or thinking that there's going to be some kind of reconciliation between Harry and William, forget it. Forget it. Forget about it. William has not been able to destroy his brother. William has failed in his plot of ruining his brother's life. And he keeps leaking to the media, hoping that eventually he'll succeed in destroying his brother's life. My family, William, will not succeed. William will keep on failing. My family, now here is what is being said by Carnival of so experts William has briefed about Harry's private text message to him. My family, a carnival of so-called expert called Tom Quinn has said that Prince Harry Meghan have been in contact with William. But their private message was simply one of sympathy and did not include any suggestion the brothers should make up and let bygones be bygones or that Harry should fly back to the UK soon. My family, do you hear that? Harry should. Harry should. Harry should. Keyword here being should, meaning it's a demand. They're demanding that Prince Harry fly over to the UK as soon as possible to come and see Kim Milton. You know, my family, let me ask you all a question here. When Meghan and Harry suffer the pain that no parent should ever have to go through, the pain of losing their unborn child, when Harry and Meghan lost their unborn child, did any single carnival of so-called experts propose that William, Charles, Kate and Camilla take a plane to go and see Harry and Meghan, take a plane to go and console with Harry and Meghan. Let me tell you the truth. Not a single carnival of so called expert proposed that Prince Harry, his extended family, William, Charles, Kate, Camilla, fly to the US to go and see Harry and Meghan, to go and console Harry Megan or go and check up on them. Not a single carnival of so-called expert even proposed that. 
my family. In fact, the palace kept quiet and never ever issued a statement when Meghan and Harry lost their child. My family, you know? And allow me even to read you the headlines at that time of my family what was being said. For example, Buckingham Palace had been criticized the family for its response to Meghan Markle's opinion piece in the article in the article that she wrote for New York Times, in which Meghan described for the first time I experienced having a miscarriage earlier. My family, you know, on in 2020, my family, earlier on in the year of 2020. My family, Buckingham Palace, declined to comment when contacted about Megan's opinion piece. Telling the world what had happened to her. Of how she and Harry suffered the pain that no parent, no mother, no father should ever go through. The pain of losing a child. Harry and Meghan lost their unborn child. And my family, the palace, never issued any comment saying that we support Harry and Meghan. We are with you. We console, we, 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 we are in pain. We feel the same pain that you feel. The palace were not sympathetic at all to Megan. They issued no comment. But Kim Morton reveals that she allegedly had cancer. The first thing the UK tabs do is go to Harry and Megan's spokesperson, ask them for a comment. You know, you know what? Will you give us a comment about Kate revealing that she allegedly had cancer? You know what? Is Harry going to come and see Kim Milton, his sister-in-law? Is he? Is he? Is he? And even right now, they are still demanding Harry comes over to see Kim Milton. Yet with Megan and Harry lost a child. Even the palace could not issue a comment saying they're supporting Megan or even my family expressing sympathy towards Harry Megan. The palace, meaning my family, you know, Charles, William, could not feel even remorse, any remorse for Harry Megan, any sympathy towards them. They could feel nothing towards them. Even when Harry Megan lost a child. And they showed us, they showed me, they showed all of you, all of us, exactly what they feel for Megan. That they don't see Megan as a human being, deserving of my family to be treated as if she is human, who is entitled to having human rights, who is entitled to my family. Are human rights being respected? The farm never showed any kind of respect towards Megan. And still, don't show any kind of respect towards Megan. But still, they believe that they can make demands of a Prince Harry. Or to Prince Harry. You know, as they're doing right now. Demanding Harry comes over to the UK to come and see Kim Milton. When Harry and Meghan lost a child, did William, Kate, Charles or Camilla fly over to the US to go and see Harry and Meghan? They did not. But Harry is the one who was always expected to drop everything he's doing to come and see Kim Milton. Whenever there's an issue in the royal family, Harry is the only one expected to drop everything he's doing to go and see Kim Milton, to go and see Charles. It's always Harry, the scapegoat for the royal family, for Britain's royal family, expected to do everything 
for the farm, for William, for Charles, for Kate, for Camilla. But when it comes to Harry pleading and begging for help, begging for support from the farm, from William, from Charles, Kate, Camilla, they won't extend any support towards Harry. They will not do anything too little finger to even condemn abuse towards Meghan and towards Harry. They won't do it. But when it comes to Harry, you know, is Harry coming to see Kay Moulton? You know, right now he needs to come over. He should come over and see Kay Moulton. My family. But really, what Tricky Media keep on looking for here is drama. To create drama around Harry and Meghan. And they want Harry and Meghan to present themselves over to the UK media. That way, the carnival, all so-called experts, can create drama surrounding Harry and Meghan. That's what UK media always want to do and want to continue doing time and time again, again and again and again. That's what they want to continue doing. Prince Harry has a wife and he has kids. That they are his focus. His family is Meghan Archie Lilibet. William is the one who is responsible for Kay Moulton. Harry is not responsible for Kay Moulton. Kate is not Harry's wife. Meghan is Harry's wife. Kate is not Harry's wife. Megan is Harry's wife. My family. But time and time again, you can always act as if, you know, Harry is the only important man <laughs> to King Moulton. They act as if William doesn't even exist. When it comes to demanding, Harry comes over to the Gansi King Moulton. To see King Moulton. My family, UK media are really desperate to have Harry back. They are very, very desperate. I have never seen this kind of desperation. It is too much. It is obvious. It is excessive. They are desperate, so, so desperate to have Harry back using any means necessary to the point that they will result to emotional blackmail to try and get Harry to come over to the UK. They'll do anything to get Harry back. Anything. My family, I mean, that is crystal clear. Using any means necessary. No wonder even they are trying to get him deported. That's how desperate Turkey media are. And they continue to show the extreme level of desperation that they feel, you know, whereby they really, really want Harry back. They really, really want Harry back. You know? And my family, basically, William, on the other hand, clearly does not want to compete with Harry because he knows he will never ever match up to the man Harry is. He knows that. And no wonder he clearly does not want Harry back. But Tuki Media want him back. You know, I think that William, you know, don't even, don't even think really. I know William wants Harry on his knees, begging, having nothing. You know, no wife, not being with his kids. Just being alone, lonely, having nothing. That's what, that's how William wants to see Prince Harry. Begging. And the fact that even right now, years later, after my family, more than seven years of smearing Harry and Meghan, still Harry is not on his knees, begging William, William, take me back, take me back. That angers William. That angers William. He's full of envy towards Harry and Meghan. Full of envy towards their love. Full of envy towards their star power. And no wonder he's trying so hard to deem Harry and Meghan's star power by trying to, you know, separate Harry and Meghan. My family, he will not succeed. And Tom Queen is saying, claims, that Prince William has replied to Prince High's message. But it was not the typical warm exchange one would expect between siblings it wasn't warm says 
Tom Quinn. Now, how could he possibly know that? Unless he was told this by Prince William. William is always leaking and briefing against Harry and Meghan. Always. As we now know, even from Carnival or so-called expert Robert Johnson, he said that Kesno Palace can knight all they want until they're blue in the faces. But they did an awful lot of leaking against Harry and Meghan. And sadly, they continue to do that even right now. My family, that needs to stop. That needs to really, really stop my family. You know? And my family, basically, Top Queen says that there is too much ill feeling for that. You know? William, he claims, is still hurt by everything Harry has said in the past. And that William has responded, but the response is very much engineered by the palace and it's hardly the kind of warm, informal response you would expect from one brother to another. William is hurt. William is hurt. The guy who has always been protected all his life, the guy who has never been held accountable for anything wrong he has ever done, feels hurt, feels hurt. William, I'll tell you, who really, really knows what pain is, Harry Megan, they know what pain is. It's Harry Megan who lost their unborn child. Harry Megan, not you, William. It's Harry Megan who lost their child. And don't forget, it was William who authorized his employee just enough to issue a statement against Megan in court to cause Megan to put Megan through so much stress, anguish. That's what William did, and suddenly Megan lost a child. Harry blamed Daily Mail for putting Megan through so much stress that Megan lost a child, but it wasn't only the Daily Mail to blame. Don't forget, William was helping out Daily Mail in Megan's court case against Daily Mail. So William also is to blame for Harry and Megan losing their unborn child. William is fully to blame. You know, and this guy claims to know what, you know, he feels hurt because Harry said in his memoir spear that William physically assaulted Harry while trying to turn Harry against Megan. When he failed, he attacked his own brother. William is hurt. Because Harry told the truth about William. William is hurt because Harry exposed how my family, William people, were doing everything in their power to sabotage Meghan, to paint Meghan in a negative light. William is hurt because Harry told the truth about the hell senior members of the royal family, like Prince William, were putting Meghan through. William is hurt because he was exposed by Prince Harry as someone who clearly can't control his temper, as someone who is full of envy towards Harry. And clearly, William, by continuing to leak stories about Harry Meghan to the press, or even about Harry's you know, message to him, clearly, he is proving what I've always known. This guy, William, is never ever going to want peace. He's never ever going to want peace. The guy is hell-bent on destroying his brother. He doesn't want peace. He doesn't want peace at all. He is hell-bent on trying to destroy his brother. He is hell-bent on seeing Harry on his knees. That's what William thinks about, you know, whenever he goes to bed at night, wakes up in the morning, he just wants to destroy his brother. That's all he cares about. That's all he thinks about my family. Time and time again. And he's angry. That he has failed to destroy his brother and my family. But he keeps on trying. He keeps on trying. And guess what, William? He will keep on failing. No matter how many times you try to destroy Harry, William, you will keep on failing. You will not succeed. You know? My family, Tom Quinn, a carnival of so-called expert, says 
that Harry Meghan went out privately to William and Kim Wilson in the wake of the news, but gave no hint of mending the royal rift. My family, I'm so sick and tired of hearing from this carnival of so called experts time and time again. Oh, if Harry comes over, perhaps it's a chance to heal the rift. I know for a fact that even the carnival of so called experts don't want the rift to be healed. They don't want that. They don't want that. I mean, the business model of the media depends or relies on members of the royal family being at odds with, the, at odds with each other. There's no way they want the rift to be healed. They don't want that. They don't want that. Because you can't say, I want to heal the rift, and then you abuse Harry Meghan, you know, in the next sentence. You cannot do that. You just can't. But that is what family is happening right now. You know, Yuki Media are continuing the smear campaign against Harry Meghan while saying that, will there be a chance? Will there be reconciliation between Harry and William while smearing Harry and Meghan? You know, my family, that's what they're doing. And then somehow they're hoping that maybe the rift will be healed. They don't want the rift to be healed. They don't want that. They do not want that. I can assure you all, they don't want that. My father, they don't want that. Yuki Media want drama. They want to make money over Harry's name while demanding that Harry and make, a, make no money for themselves. That's what they want. They want to destroy Harry Mega completely. To see Harry Mega on their knees, that's what Yuki Media want. They don't want peace. They don't want peace. No matter how many times they're like, you know, will William and Harry heal the rift? They don't want the rift to be healed. They don't want that. You know? My family, and also it is high time that Yuki Media understand this, that Harry is never ever coming back to the arms of his abusers. Last year, Harry said himself, and I believe that Harry is a man of his word. My family. He said when he was asked by Anson Cooper, do you ever see yourself returning to be a full-time working member of the royal family? Harry said no. 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 That's what Harry said. But like, no matter what Harry says, the carnival of so-called experts don't want to listen to Harry's words. Don't want to pay attention to Harry's words. They don't want that. You know? They have their own agenda and they want Harry to perform for them. To make money for them. By offering himself, his future, his life, his destiny, his happiness, to sacrifice all of that just to entertain, to be, you know, my family, someone who entertains the carnival of so-called experts. So someone who you know, make so much money for the Wikimedia by allowing or permitting Wikimedia to create drama around him. It's high time that this carnival of so-called experts understand that Harry is a husband, is a father, and my family, his duty is towards his family, Megan, Archie, Lily, Betana. You know, his focus to always be towards, you know, on Archie, on Lilibet, and Megan. My family. Always and forever. That's how it should always be. And Harry is a man of his word. There's no way he ever brings Megan or Archie or Lilibet back to the UK. But he knows it's unsafe for Megan, Archie, and my family, Lilibet. And uh, my family, Tom Quinn says that the kind of communication that happened between Harry and William is the sort of communication you would get between two slightly wary diplomats, my family, says Tom Quinn, about Harry and William's communication, my family. That's what he says. And my family, the thing is, Harry is better off without William in his life. 
Harry is way much better off without having William in his life. Harry is way much better off. Having someone like William, you know, in Harry's life, my family, that's toxic to Prince Harry himself. That is toxic to Prince Harry himself. And my family, for Prince Harry, I hope that Harry is always surrounded by people who love him. By people who care for him. By people who don't want to ruin him or destroy his life, his marriage, his happiness. I hope Harry and Meghan are surrounded by people who are genuine, who care for them truly. You know, and truthfully care for them. Not those who my family, you know, have an agenda. Not those who are planning to betray them, my family. And people like William are people who I do hope are never ever in Harry and Meghan circle ever at all. Because that person, my family, as I was reading even Spare, I read a part where Harry told us that my family William, in a phone call to Prince Harry, was abusing Meghan while Meghan was pregnant. And Meghan cried. Meghan was in tears. Harry tells us Meghan cried and Meghan was pregnant. But someone, like the carnival of so-called experts, wants somehow for, for, for Meghan to be around William and Kate Morton. So what? So Meghan can be Kate's full time scapegoat again. So what? So Megan can, you know, be made to cry by Prince Williams, you know, because of his bullying behavior. So Megan can pass a tablet stand to watch her son Archie and daughter Lilibet being racially abused to prop up Williams' kids. You know, my family, Megan and Harry, are way way much better off without having William or Kate anywhere around them, my family. Anywhere around them. And my family, Harry and Meghan are good people. Because despite everything that happened to them, my family, clearly, they can still extend a hand of friendship. A hand of, you know, more like sympathy to people who have wronged them. Harry and Meghan are too good and they are too kind. You know? And my family, because if someone did to me what William and Kimmelson have done to Harry and Meghan, the hell they put them through, there's no way I'd ever want to be anywhere around them at all. You know, Harry and Meghan lost a child. And the farm never ever issued a statement even saying that we are sorry to Harry and Meghan. Not even that. Not even that. Because the bullying and the abuse towards Meghan was always meant to ensure that Megan never ever gave Harry kids. You know? It was meant to destroy Megan's mental health, my family. To make Megan suffer. To the point that Megan leaves Prince Harry and runs away. My family, Megan did flee the UK. But she took her husband with her. And my family, ever since then, the carnival of so called experts have never been able to accept it. And get over the fact that Harry chose and that he chose Meghan and Meghan chose and that she chose Prince Harry. They have never been able to get over that. My family is despicable really. To see that William continues to brief against Prince Harry and Meghan is despicable. It's despicable. And as I expected and as I always knew really, William does not want peace. He doesn't want peace with Harry and Meghan. He has failed in his mission and his, in his, and in his quest, really, to destroy Harry and Meghan. You know, that guy, the only thing that he wants is to see Harry and Meghan destroyed. He doesn't want peace. He doesn't want peace. William doesn't want peace. And someone has got to tell him this. Harry is a much, much better man than him. William will never, ever match up to the man that Harry is, because Harry is a real man, a good man, a good father to his kids. William will never ever be, you know, that kind of a person. And that's what William, for the rest of his life, you always have to come to terms with this. 
It is Harry who is loved. It is Harry who embodies the heart and spirit of his late mother, Diana. William does not embody that. William has become my family even a worse person than Charles himself. And one day William will answer for all the pain he's caused to Harry, Meghan, and to many, many other people. One day William will answer for all the pain that he has caused. One day William will be held accountable for the pain he has caused Harry, Meghan. William doesn't know what pain is. He doesn't. He doesn't. Because all his life, he has always been coddled and protected by the farm and UK media. So William, you don't know what pain means. How to make her know what pain is. And William, one day, even you will understand everything that Harry Megan have gone through. And William, you will be held accountable for the pain that, that you've caused Harry Megan. One day it's going to happen. One day it's going to happen. And my family, that day is coming. And the whole world will see Prince William, you know, exposed for the person that he is. A bully. And someone who's so, so abusive. Someone who can control his temper. And my family, William, even the community won't be able to protect him. That day is coming. My family, you tell me kindly, your thoughts about William once again briefing details about Harry's private conversations to him. My family, I want to hear your opinion kindly on that. And then he complains about Oprah. Then he complains about Spare. When William is leaking to the UK media, they want him again. And he always leaks to the Murdoch own press again and again and again and again. They want him again because they own him. William, one day, even the tablets won't be able to keep you safe. One day, even the tabloid media won't be able to cover for you, for, for you, for being exposed for who you are. Someone who is clearly not a good person. One day, William, you will understand what answering or being held accountable for your actions is. And William will be there to see it. We'll be there to see it. We'll be there to see it. Maybe then you'll understand the pain you've caused others, like Harry and Meghan. William, you'll understand that one day. You'll understand that one day. For now, you know nothing. But one day, you'll understand it. My family, it's so sad to see that William keeps on leaking again and again and again and again and again to the gay media. This guy doesn't want peace, my family. He just wants to destroy his brother and his brother's wife. William, you won't succeed. My family, you tell me kindly your thoughts about what we have just discussed. God bless Harry, Meghan, Archie, and also Lady Diana and Doria Brother, and all of you members got a top of never wins. Love wins and stay tuned to our next video. Love you also forever and may God bless you, my family. He never wins. Love wins and stay tuned to our next video. Hello, members of Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustice, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil. And for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family. Always and forever. Sayonara.